Hello, everybody. Bruce Palmer here for Two Wings Ministry. How can a person be born from above, born of the Spirit? How can a person be born again, as Jesus said to Nicodemus that he needed to be in John 3.3? 3? The only way a person can be born a second time is to call upon the name of the Lord for salvation. Men began to call upon the name of the Lord 5,800 years ago, according to Genesis 4.26. And I saw a great change in Bev's life 45 years ago. She would prefer a 10-cent 7-Up instead of a 75-cent Whiskey 7. And when I would come home all canned up and ripped, she would say, Can I make you some food? And I'd say, Sure. At two in the morning, and I was hungry from the weed. She'd make me a half a dozen eggs and toast. And it was because of things like these I became convicted. And then it came. My friend Dick Somedy and I arrived at my place about 9 o'clock on a Thursday night, and at the kitchen table, Bev and uh, my sister-in-law Debbie Myers and Lester Glassell and Jean Brush, the pastor, they were all sitting there. And when I finally did say hello, Debbie broke the ice and said, Bruce, you should see what it says, says in the Bible. And I said, well, what does it say? And Jean Brush then showed me some passages from First Timothy chapter 4, and they interested me. And Bev says, why don't you show him those other verses? And so he asked me this question, do you believe that you're a sinner? And I said, I'm probably the worst one there is. And he let me read from Romans chapter 3 verse 10, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. And then Romans 3.23 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then he let me read Romans 5.12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. And he told me, everybody dies because we are all sinners. And I asked him, well, who was the one man? And he said, Adam. And then he let me read Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And he said, God gives eternal life through Jesus as a gift. And he held up a, a pencil or a pen and said, here's a gift. What do you have to do to receive it? And I said, take it. And he said, that's it. So he showed me Romans 5.8. But God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And so the word of God tells us that Jesus Christ died for each one of us personally. And I looked over at Bev and I asked her, I says, did you do this? And she nodded. And I said, this is real. And Jean asked me then, so do you know where you're going to go after you die? And I said, I don't know. I'd like to go to heaven, but I suppose because of all the bad things, I have to go to hell. And he showed me Romans 10, 8 through 13. And while he was explaining things, I looked out the darkened kitchen window, and I could see the Lord Jesus on the cross. And I said, I get it. If I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me personally, and I call on his name to save me. I can go to heaven because of what he did, not because of anything that I can do. And he said, that's it. You've got it. Would you like to get saved right now? And I said, no. I said, this is something I've got to do alone and by myself. If, if I do it now, you'll think that I did it because of you. And so after they left and Bev and I went to bed, she said to me, did you do it yet? And I said, no, don't push me. I'm thinking. So I put my hand under my head and back on the pillow, and I thought, this is big. This is really big. And then in the morning, when I woke up, all I could think about was going to Jesus, going alone to the Lord Jesus. That's all I could think about. And it was as if somebody was speaking right through me. Will you do it? Will you do it? And I said, yes, I'll do it. But where can I do this? I, I wanted to be alone. 
And so I decided I will do this in my uh, Ford pickup truck. And so as I went towards the Twin Cities on Highway 8 and the crossover north of Forest Lake, I called out to the Lord and I said, Lord, I'm coming before you, as you said in your word, to call on the name of the Lord Jesus for salvation. And so I started confessing my sins. And I stopped and I said, this ain't it. And I said, Lord, you know the, everything that I've ever done. And so I knew right then and there that my whole life was going to have to change. And I knew that it would change and that I would have nothing to do with it. And so I said to the Lord, Lord, I confess that I'm a sinner and I'm coming before you and I want to be with you when I die and I'm calling on your name to save me. And I thought it was only right that I say thank you and I, so I said, thank you, Lord. And I knew right then and there that I was saved for eternity. I knew it. I had God's word on it. And so salvation is for everybody. And it, but it's only given to those who want it and those who take it. And so take it by faith. Take God at his word and get saved today. And then you will know and love what it means to be born from above.